Catherine had had two coffees before Ben arrived. Catherine had eaten two sandwiches before Ben had arrived. The difference between the two statements should not be about whether Catherine had coffee or sandwiches. Let's keep that aside. In both these sentences, we have two actions that took place. One is the action of Catherine having coffee or sandwich. The other is the action of Ben arriving at the scene. Whenever you have two actions, especially when you're sequencing them and you're saying this is the first event that actually took place and this is the second event that took place, then you have to use the past perfect construction for the first action and the simple past construction for the second action. This has no negotiation around it. This is a hard and fast rule. Here we have used the word before to sequence the two events. So the first event, which is Catherine eating or having coffee, should be in the past perfect construction. The second event, which is Ben arriving, has to be in the simple past construction. That means for Ben, we have to say arrived and not had arrived. Had arrived in statement two makes the statement incorrect. If we have to use past perfect for Catherine, had had and had eaten are both correct past perfect usages. This makes statement one an absolutely grammatically correct sentence. Now you may wonder, can I use two hads back to back? You absolutely can. When you're using the past perfect, we use had plus whatever the main verb is. So when the action is act of eating, we say had eaten. When we are talking about writing, we say had written. When we are talking about having, owning, possessing, taking something, then you have to say had plus another had for the main verb. So had had is an absolutely correct construction. There is no error in statement one. That means option A is the correct answer.